Our Pokemon Draft League is heating up. It's week three of the Shuckle Premier League and your New York Mankeys are one and one. This week's game carries a lot of weight because we're versing our lifelong rivals, the New York Marauders, coached by my best friend of 20 years, Drew. All is fair on the battlefield and friendship will be cast aside for the sweet chance at victory. If you want to see the full breakdown of the six Mankeys we brought this week, there's a link in the description down below going over the sets and why I chose them. But for now, it's time to battle. All right, your New York Mankeys are here to go against the New York Marauders. We have a rivalry in this state and we're gonna see Robo Pass hits the field. Are you kidding me? I don't even know what this thing does. All right, we see no Quaquavel, which honestly I was planning for so much. So that's that's awesome for me. Uh, we got Thunderous, we got Probo Pass. Um, this is gonna be a tough match because I did not expect half of these Mons. Uh, I did expect the Rillaboom, the Thunderous, and the Iron Boulder. So I guess I expected literally exactly half. But outside of that, um, Gonna be interesting. Uh, I, I, I'm hoping that Zoroark puts in a lot of work now looking at this. Uh, no Skun Tank, so T-Spikes is gonna go hard. Uh, there's no Rapid Spin. I'm guessing Probo Pass might get Rapid Spin or something. No, it does not get Rapid Spin. So I don't see any Rapid Spin or Defog. So I think T-Spikes is going to be pretty crucial for this. I almost wanna just lead Sneasler. I'm not gonna lie. I almost just wanna lead Sneasler and click T-Spikes as soon as possible because unless I'm missing something, I don't see a way for him to remove them. Uh, and that could be pretty valuable. Mm, if he leads Thunderous, that'll be kind of a dagger. I would say, you know what? Let's let's go ahead and I'm gonna go with my gut. My other gut, not that gut. I'm gonna lead. Oh, let's withdraw you. Oh gosh, what's happening? Uh I can't I can't actually do what I wanted to do. Okay. Uh I was trying to get <laughs> I was trying to get my my mon sorted correctly, but I ran out of time and I feel like asking for more time is illegal. I wanted to have Archilodon in the back so that I could appear with Zoroark as an Archilodon, but that's not gonna happen. All right, let's jump into the battle. Frame one, let's see if he leads with the Probo Pass to get rocks up. We have Abdomen, Abdomen the Hydrapple. What does this thing do as I drop my controller? Awesome, your coach is all over the place. We see Hydrapple here. Uh, which I think for him, Hydrapple might actually be one of his, no, I can't, it can't actually be a, a Terra Captain. There's no way, this thing is strong. Uh, Hydrapple, Smogon, where's my time? I got 60 seconds, okay. Hydrapple, Draco Meteor, Earth Power, Dragon Tail, Fickle Beam. Can randomly do two, uh, can randomly do two stuff. I think that what I'm gonna do, I think he could just Dragon Tail me here. It's definitely possible. If that's the case, I just wanna fire off a, uh, I don't know what this thing does. I'm gonna, I'm, I don't really wanna reveal Iron Defense right away, but I'm going to. Maybe he'll think I'm Zoroark and he'll do something else. I really have no idea. What, I mean, this thing does get Earth Power, I just saw. That's kind of a dagger. That's gonna do a lot of damage, I'm sure. That's gonna do a lot of damage if he fires off that Earth Power. Oh, I wish I would've stared at that smoke on screen a little bit harder. It's fine, it's fine. We'll see how much it does. If he does opt to go for that. I literally have no idea what abdomen. Oh, he just withdraws! Wait, that's actually really good for me. Okay, so the, just the straight up switch on abdomen and sends out me. He sends out the Probo Pass! Oh, I love it. All right, is Probo Pass a captain for him? I want to say yes. No, it's not. Okay, so does Probo Pass get counter? It does not. Okay, so I'm just gonna plus two body press. He's gonna set up rocks, I think. Wait, it is a Terra Captain? Oh, it's not listed. It's not listed in the dock, man. That's so frustrating. Oh, that's really frustrating, dude. I actually am like, I'm pretty tilted about that. I'm just gonna send him a screenshot. I don't even know what he went for. Uh, he went for, he went for Iron Defense. Okay, I'm gonna roar him. I'm gonna roar him. It's my fault as the coach. I should have dug deeper than just the surface dock. Uh, I should have known that he was Terra Ghost. We're gonna be at a little bit of a stalemate here. I almost ran Stealth Rock on this thing, but we're definitely gonna be, I, I think maybe he gets body press and he's gonna do a decent amount of damage to me. I think that my iron defense will kind of, you know, mitigate some of the damage that we'll take from this. Uh, we'll see body press. Does a lot for sure. Uh, I am gonna go to plus three defense. So now, depending on what he goes out into, uh, we could be set here. What I'm gonna do during this turn is I'm gonna calc how much our Shilladon's Dragon Pulse does. 
I really wish I already had rocks up. We'd be in a much better spot. All right, abdomen comes back out. Might actually take me out with an earth power now. Uh, high Drapple. Uh, earth power doesn't actually take me out yet, which is cool. Uh, body press will do a ton. For sure. And I think he's just gonna go for that. I'm at 242. Let's do the real calc. Yeah, earth power does not take me out. And body press at plus. I should be plus three right now, I believe. Uh, will. I don't know why this is not telling me that. I mean, this this should be doing way more damage. It is 47%, so it really doesn't do a lot. I think I read the earth power and I go out into um, Sylvain here. Definitely frustrating. Absolutely frustrating for me. But we're going to see if we can rebound from that. Uh, intimidate. Hopefully earth power. Ooh, Draco Meteor outright. Oh, boy. All right, there's a lot of damage. Um, unfortunately, I think I'm just going to get Stealth Rocks up, and that's it. Let's see. It did 240. So at minus one of this 120, we do survive another. Uh, so I am just going to go click Stealth Rock now. This is going to get this is going to get increasingly difficult to actually win, but I think this is the best play for now. For now, it's the best play. All right, we're going to see the withdraw on the Hydra Apple. So this is a free Stealth Rock turn. Um, we're going to see Achilles come out. Achilles is going to be the Thunderous, which this thing has a pretty, I have a pretty rough matchup against this thing right now, right? I don't know exactly what it's going to want to go for. Let's look up useful moves that it has. Uh, crunch, Body Slam. It's going to be special, I'm sure. Grass Knot, maybe. Psychic. I am lefties, so I don't know what this thing is going to want to do. It could nasty plot frame one, I guess. It definitely does not go for Thunder Wave. I'll tell you that much. We can't really learn if it's Prankster or not. Uh, it doesn't It doesn't take me out no matter what. So I could either opt to Sludge Wave for some damage, or I could U-turn. I'm slower, so it should be some good initiative. And we'll learn something about this thing. I could hard swap immediately into our Rotom, but I think just going U-turn uh, is going to be fine. We're gonna see knockoff getting rid of my lefties. That's actually a big play. Okay, Thunderous has knockoff. That's huge. That is huge, 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 huge. Really good, really good knockoff use on the, uh, on my Thunderous. Now though, I think that the best thing for me to do is, I think if I go out into this, he's just going to go for knockoff again. We're gonna start Trilodon. I do gain some HP back. Now we have rocks up. So Roar is gonna be a bit more impressive. Uh, but I would really like the grassy terrain up before I do that. We could Sneasler here, actually. Uh, but if he is, if he ends up being Prankster with Thunder Wave, I will cry 3D. So I think maybe going out into Rotom is just going to be the best play. Even if he is going to knock off again, and we're going to lose our lefties, which is a lot of recovery, I think clicking Volt Switch and putting this thing in range of Hubert. Let's see if that puts you in range of Hubert. Uh, if we have our Zoroark, I really should just export my sets. That, that's exactly what I should do. And I should have done before doing this. Where are we? Where are we? We have so many tabs open. You guys have no idea. Never mind. We're not. We don't have time. Uh, Zoroark. If we go Shadow Ball against Thunder, it's 51 to 60%. So I think that Caspar will put him in range. So let's go Volt Switch. He's got no immunities, right? He didn't bring his, uh, oops. Oh no, I didn't do that. Uh, he didn't bring his ground type. Okay, so we click Volt Switch. He clicks Knock Off, I'm sure. Oh, he just withdraws. Okay, that's cool. That's great, that's great, that's great. Okay, we get no other information. Pectorals! <laughs> Pectorals is out, the Rillaboom, that's perfect. A Will-O-Wisp would have gone so hard, but I love this for me. Because what this lets me do is this lets me go into Archilodon. Either chill on, or we go out into our um, Sneasler here. Sooner I get those T-Spikes up, the better, but I probably would lose this Mon straight up if I go for T-Spikes right now, which that could be bad. I could go out into our chill on, like I said, and get two defense buff. Uh, I, I can get two recovery, terrain and lefties. This is probably the best time to do that. 
This also puts full HP Rotom in the back, which is gonna allow this Roar to potentially look like it later, which is kind of important for me because I, I can't have it be a Damage Archilodon. So this is gonna be a two-fold decision by your coach and see if we can uh, make, make some things happen. We're at a ton of HP now. Um, I feel like this thing is just wanna go, gonna wanna go for knockoff. And I think I am just going to body press here. Because he's gonna go for knockoff, get rid of my lefties. And I will get decent damage off at plus one. I and mean, if he doesn't go for knockoff and he goes for something else, it is what it is. Oh, we're gonna see high horsepower. More damage than I wanna take right there, if I'm honest with you, but we will hang on thanks to lefties. Uh, we will absolutely hang on thanks to lefties and the terrain. Uh, high horsepower does not get reduced by grassy terrain like Earthquake does. But look, we took we took negligible damage. And I think now we maybe make the read. No, I think we just I think we just body press again. Getting rid of this Rillaboom would just be insane for me. It really would be insane. Iron defense could be a really solid play here though. Yeah, I'm an iron defense. I'm an iron defense here. Oh, whoa, does he have a phasing move? Or is he just naturally slower than me? No, because he just went fat first. He's got a phasing move. No. Is it a speed tie? It might be a speed tie. All right, I'm getting really, really strong really, really quick. I definitely think he swaps here, but I'm still gonna click. Uh, there's really no reason for me not to click the, uh, I always forget the name of this move. This defensive offensive move, body press. There's no reason not to click body press here. If he goes under the ghost type, I get double recovery again. I'm at plus four defense, I believe. And uh, he can't, he, he doesn't have any phasing on his team, it doesn't look like. If he goes into anything else, or if he stays in, He's gonna get cooked. We're gonna see U-turn here, which is no damage, and I just go to plus five. So that's huge. Our chill, Dadu is popping off right now. Getting some serious damage in. Once the Rillaboom is gone, my Rotom feels very comfy. Very, very comfy. Gluteus Maximus. All right, Gluteus Maximus. Uh, I don't think, I mean, do people run Iron Boulder special? Can, can this Iron Boulder actually be special right now? Special attack is 68. Um, I don't think it's special. I think it's physical, but I'm way too strong for it now. I'm just gonna body press. I think I'm, I think I'm way too strong for it. We see Sacred Sword. Oh, does that crit? No, it just takes me out. Whoa, I did not expect that to take me out. Uh, I have to calc before I move on. That was insane. Uh, that is such a good good play for him. Uh, I want to say that might have... Oh, we saw no Quark Drive, right? So he's definitely Bandit or Scarf. Does Sacred Sword ignore defense buffs? Oh, it looks like it does. Oh, well, that sucks. I didn't know that. Beep! Uh, but still, it was still definitely Bandit damage. So we could go out into Hubert. But I think the best thing to do is to take advantage of the fact that that's Bandit and it won't Oko Shamir. And I can do one of two things. I can sub or I can T-Spikes. Yeah, I'm gonna T-Spikes. If he's not banned, then I'm, I'm just, I'm cooked. I'm taking a huge, I'm, I'm making a huge call here and calling banned on that. And I'm pretty sure it has to be. We're gonna see me come out. That's fine. Let's see if Probo Pass gets Thunder Wave. Cause I think that it does. And I feel like that would be his play here. We're gonna get T-Spikes up. It does get Thunder Wave. I really think his play is gonna be Thunder Wave. Now he does wall me pretty hard though, so going for sub just allows him to click iron defense. I don't have any phasers, but I am gonna be able to just like sack something off and get Hubert in and definitely Oko, right? Like I'm pretty sure that Probo Pass does not survive Zoroark. I'm gonna calc it though. And you are Terror Ghost. Ooh, you actually do survive, you're bulky. Oh my gosh, okay, so we gotta get some damage off on you. We could sack this off now that it's pretty low. I wouldn't mind that. Or we go out into Linhart and start going for knockoffs. Uh, I think now's a good time to go into Linhart, right? There's no more terrain. Let's go into Linhart. Uh, he doesn't have a Kukwabble, which is one of the reasons I brought this thing. So it's unfortunate that he doesn't. And he doesn't have the Sandaconda. The Iron Boulder he does still have, which I would like to be able to use this against. But I think we're just gonna see an Iron Defense here. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fire off a knockoff. Me losing my phaser at a Sacred Sword actually could lose us the game for sure. Um I don't know. I think I think what I actually want to do is lead see this thing and just make it so that it can't like stay forever. Or I can calc instead of being a fool and see how much Thwacky does with knockoff. 42%, that's pretty good, but you're gonna recover it, so let's lead seed. 
Let's leech seed here. He might iron defense again. Probably does. We know we have to hit this on the special side. We know we have to sack something off. He's gonna body press. We do survive. It does 170. We'll get our restoration from the terrain and we'll get elite seed restoration. So I would say the best thing to do here is to sack off Lando. That's a lot of HP recovered. Uh, I'm gonna U-turn. Now we could either go out into Lando or we could massive brain it and go out into Rotom. And if we go out into Rotom, I am physically defensive. I don't resist the body press by any stretch. But uh, it'll probably, I guess Lando's just better. We can hit it on the special side, we resist. And uh, Lando's already weakened and we have no item. Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. At least we resist. And if he goes iron defense again, it's like fine-ish. Let's see, we see power gem. Mixed probo pass. Iron defense, power gem, uh, body press. We see those lefties, which are super annoying. I would love, I would love to knock this thing off. Which you might think, my I think my Lando, Lando might not get knock off anymore. Actually, it probably doesn't. I'm just gonna go for an Earth Power. I guess he didn't want to body press into my Ghost type, to be fair. But I think just going for a safe switch into my Ghost type is gonna be best. Let's calc how much Lando does to this thing potentially. Oh yeah, just forty percent. That'll put you in Shadow Ball range, so that's worth it. That's worth it. Cause this thing is terrifying for sure. We're gonna see body press. I, I was so close to making the play, by the way. I was so close to going out into Zorark right there. It's fine. Uh, we have our full HP. Let's see, oh, you're actually, you might just be out of range. But you can't Oko Zorark. You cannot Oko Zorark no matter what, right? So I'm gonna look like my full HP Rotom. I'm gonna take a little time on this to make sure he, I want him to think that I'm thinking at least. My gut also wants to just lock into Hex already, but I don't think that's smart. Let's go into the Hubert, which is cast far. And uh, maybe he thinks I'm gonna burn him. Either way, uh, Shadow Ball. Modest Shadow Ball to 72% that does take you out and we probably just fire it off. Because Shadow Ball might not get the KO. If it doesn't, then Hex is just a better option, right? It's just a better option. It's, unless Thunderous comes in. Ooh, you're just gonna withdraw. Okay, so we're gonna reveal that we're Shadow Balling. Uh, we are gonna see Abdomen come out. Abdomen, the Hydrapple takes some rocks damage. Uh, you get poisoned. And we're gonna see how much Shadow Ball does. You are bulky as sin, right? Aren't you like a salt vest probably? Yeah, that's no damage at all. There's the recovery. Um, but slowly and surely, you will get hexed out. Uh, this thing is scary in general. You are in hex range. I think our best bet, I don't think that Shamir can, can take a hit. I'll tell you that much. Shamir is constantly a, a walled by the ghost type now, right? Like the ghost type is just brutal for me. Um, absolutely brutal. I could go out into Linhart, but I don't think I'm gonna actually eat the Draco Meteor very well. I almost wanna go on into Cast Bar, I'm not gonna lie. And just sack it off so I can get a clean switch in into my Shamir and start Dire Clawing until, because now, the, and until we get Hubert in and then Hubert should be able to Shadow Ball everything. The only thing I have to worry about is the Thunderous, which is why I kind of still need Shamir. So I think I do either go Cast Bar or Linhart and I think I'm gonna have to go Cast Bar. I think that we need to preserve Linhart for Boulder. Honestly, I'm pretty sure that's what it's gonna, what we're gonna need to do. Uh, we're gonna see Draco Meteor. I'm not special, so it does do a lot, but he's at minus two now. He's, his poison is ticking down, ticking down. Uh, I think even at minus two, because of that, I will be able to survive something else. Uh, Volt Switch is semi-free here. It's pretty obvious though, but I actually think it's the only play I have. I can't pain split right now. Uh, I am faster. Yeah, I have to Volt Switch. I don't have to think about it. I have to Volt Switch. He eats it completely, obviously, uh, but he is at minus two. So this is probably a decent time to either go back out into Zorort or go into Thwacky. I think it's a decent time to go into Thwacky. Let's see how much a Hydrapple, minus two. Wow, that still does so much to Zorork. You're so frail. Uh, Yeah, you're so frail. Let me see the special on you, Shamir, because we're, we're in a tough spot right now with this thing. 196 versus 156, so a little bit bulkier and I resist the grass type move. 
Um, I at least threaten with Dire Claw a little bit. If he swaps into the Ghost type, I mean, I have a chance at getting a para or, or actually he's gonna be poisoned, right? He's gonna be poisoned. Oh, this is such a tough spot. I'm gonna go on to Shamir. I'm gonna go on to Shamir. I can't break through, man. That one Sacred Sword, I guess, I guess, I'm guessing Sacred Sword must ignore things, right? That's the only explanation. Sacred Sword must ignore things. Uh, I think that what he's going to do is he is going to sack this thing off now. I'm gonna click sub. He withdraws, actually. He probably goes back onto his iron defense, which is fine, because it's gonna be poison now. He does have lefties. And we can get one Dire Claw off. Maybe. I guess sub was stupid. Sub was not good. Sub was not good because he has lefties still. I should have just doubled out into my uh, Thwacky right there and gone for the knockoff. Yeah, I definitely should have. I don't know what he has for me though. And I think I do just try to Dire Claw over and over because at the end of the day, if he gets the plus, I'm, I'm, I'm hitting this thing specially no matter what, right? I have to I have to attack this thing with a special attack. At least with Dire Claw, uh, I'm behind a sub, so it's kind of free to stay in. And we can maybe learn more about his moveset because he, he has a fourth move we haven't seen yet. That does nothing. No crit, get behind your stuffed animal. He goes iron defense. It's not gonna matter, right? At the end of the day, it's not gonna matter. Cause I can take a power gem, it's a roar. I can take a power gem as Roar. Uh, and we slowly, it, I think he goes for the attack now. I still don't think there's a point in me switching though. If he's packing like rest or something, he deserves to win. All right, there's body press. I don't know how much it does. Uh, if he didn't have his lefties, we would actually be in a fantastic spot because I would be able to just like uh, continuously click like sub and the poison would have just done the job. Uh, it's doing a little bit of work. It is, it is slowly winning. We could sub again. Or I can make the big boy read and just go on to Zorok. I, I have to go on to Zorok. I have to praise for body press. I have to praise for body press. Pain split. That's brutal. All right, that's brutal. This thing gets pain split. That's crazy. What a, what a what a great last move. What a fantastic last move is pain split. All right, but you're in hex range. Everything takes a lot of damage from hex except for the thunderous. Uh, right. Do you have your mabostiff? You do have mabostiff still, but even but it'll still do a decent amount. Um, I think he has to preserve this. So U-turn is kind of on the board. Yeah, I think I U-turn here. I have to make a play. I haven't made any plays yet, so I think I have to make a play. Yeah, he withdraws, okay. I had to make a play because I just, I haven't made a single play yet. Abdomen comes back out. Uh, Abdomen's gonna take stealth rock damage, gonna take some U-turn damage. Uh, he was willing to sack this off to get a clean switch in, which he's not going to get a clean switch in now, which is great. Uh, but, this, and this thing is super slow. Hydrapple is crazy slow, right? Uh, it is 44 speed. It's the slowest thing in the world. So I can go into anything that can take it out. I think we just, we can't let this thing get any more damage off. I didn't see its, its actual HP percent. Um, but I think U-turn, yeah, U-turn would have been enough after poison. Okay, I should have gone into Thwacky. I could have got some more recovery on, on a lot of different things. It's okay though. Uh, we are going to click Dire Claw. He's gonna let this thing go down. I, I think he just switches. Uh, he does. I changed my mind. I know I, before I said that he was going to preserve it. Uh, pectorals, okay, Pectorals comes back out. Uh, that, okay, so he's gonna let this thing go down, which I'm kind of fine with. Not gonna lie, I would have loved to have subbed on it though. Uh, he's gonna eat a berry. It's a lumberry. Ooh, interesting. Grassy Surge comes up. Dire Claw is gonna take him out. Don't waste your crit on this. Please don't waste your crit on this. Don't waste your crit on this. Pectorals. Goodbye, pectorals. Like it's the gym, baby. Like it's the gym. Okay. Gluteus. Okay, Gluteus, we know his choice. Um, <sighs> Choice Gluteus might actually win the game, huh? No, because we have this still. Okay, so we have Linhart always as a 
as a revenge KO. Um, I can't risk losing Sneasler though, so it's pretty obvious Rotom switch, but I still have to make it. Uh, and Rotom is just gonna basically go down. Uh, we, we have to sack off Rotom here. I have to get my Unburden off if I wanna like truly win this fight. Caspar comes in. He goes for a Psycho Cut. It's easy to a KO. And I've known this. I've been this. I've read this. Uh, I'm sorry, Caspar. There's nothing we could do about it. You must go down to these Psycho Cuts uh, so that my Hexing Machine can come in. And my Hexing Machine should be able to... Uh, I have to check if I can actually take it. Oh, I have Pain Split too. That's a dagger, man, that I'm not going to get a Pain Split off. But I'm not going to get a Pain Split off, I'll tell you that much. Okay. So we're pretty convinced that Boulder is Scarfed. Iron Boulder, Choice Scarf, uh, with Psycho Cuts. Because you're going to be faster than me. Uh, and then I think I have to go into Thwacky here no matter what, right? He's got things to eat the Grassy Glide. Let's see how Thwacky takes the, gra the, the Psycho Cut. Uh, Psycho Cut does 60%. I'm at 158. So I'm at 56. Psycho Cut has a chance to not take me out. I'm just trying to see if there's a point in... I think he does preserve this basically no matter what. And his best switch in is like Thunderous. So... I could knock off. I definitely like, I unironically don't think... I, I mean, if he, if he stays in, I guess I get swept, right? I guess I have to stay, I guess I have to Grassy Glide. I have to Grassy Glide, but he knows I have to Grassy Glide. I already made a play, but I know he needs this. He knows he needs this too, right? Yeah, he, know, he knows he needs this. So I would say, let's go for Terra U-turn here. Switch out, okay. Some sort of initiative, some sort of initiative. We're going U-turn. Achilles is back. That's not me. I would have loved to have seen me, uh, but this is, this is fine. Right, I don't... What is it, a seed? Ooh, Thunderous with plus one defense. Okay. Interesting. I didn't even realize the seed would activate if you're floating in the air. That's cool. Uh, plus one defense, Thunderous, against a Sneasler. Uh, let's see... Okay, that's not gonna be enough at all. Zoroark against Thunderous. I do 60%, which is, he's, he's above that. Oh, that's such a dagger. Thunderbolt does 67%. I'm at 226. I'm gonna gain a little bit back. So I'm out of range of Thunderbolt. I'm gonna go and Sneasler. I'm not gonna lie. I, I wanna, I can't, I can not close combat until that ghost type is gone. And it's really, it's such a good prep on his part. I really wish I knew that in my prep. Um, It's just Dire Claw. I'll take a sleep. Nope, Acrobat, I'm gone. All right, that's gonna be the game. That is unfortunately the game for sure. Uh, did not know this thing got acrobatics. That is huge, 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 huge. Uh, let's go on to my Hubert. That is absolutely the game. Uh, Dire Claw so far, not performing well for the Mankeys, I'll tell you that much. Not at all. Uh, does Hex do enough so I can lock myself into this and just click it over and over again? Because uh, I really hope it does. Hex does 41 to 49 to a Thunderous. Uh, sure, let's click Hex. I'm not able to survive the uh, Iron Boulder though. So he does have me in the sweepy position. I'm pretty sure that uh, even Mighty Cleave will take me out. I'm so bummed that I didn't know about Probo Pass, but I mean, would that have changed? I mean, yeah, would have probably changed my prep a little bit. I don't know what Biceps wants to do, brother. Biceps is terrifying. It obviously wants to hurt me. If you stake out, so I can't switch out. So I just got to sit here and uh, take an hour to the knee. Nothing else I can do. It's going to do decent damage, and he's going to crunch me into oblivion. Down goes Zorork. Uh, and Thwacky's gonna try his absolute hardest here. Thwacky is going to give it all he can as a Mankey. 
to pick up some sort of KOs. Some sort of KOs. We're gonna regain HP here, slowly. Um, the Mabostiff is weak, so it's like, this This was a game at the very least, right? Like, who's left? Hadrapple's low, Boulder I can take out. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can we all just wait exactly one minute? Can we all? Everyone sit down! There's like a slight, I, I could I could be, I could be like just, I, I don't know, I could be delusional. There's a slight chance that Thwacky does this. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even see this line of play as far as like, I just, I, I gave, I did, I did give up. I did give up. I'm sorry, Mankey fans. Uh, abdomen comes out. Oh yeah, what do I do to this thing? Okay. Uh, you turn is my strongest move against you. So I click it every time I get the crit and I'm better. Draco Meteor could miss. Not enough. Okay. Draco Meteor does not miss. Is there any chance we hang on? Nope, that's GG. Oh man. So close, man. It's crazy that if we just, if we just had that high drop a little lower, that thing is regenerator, right? Just a little lower, we would have had it. All right, good game, Drew. That was a heck of a game. New York Marauders take it over the Mankeys. Honestly, the game was closer than it looked. The game was so much closer than it looked, so I'm, I'm pretty proud of that one. I will see you guys next week for the next battle in the Shuckle Premier League with your New York Mankeys. Keep it shady.